Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. As usual, this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I also apologize if this video is out a tad later than usual. My laptop decided it needed to update this morning and took much longer than expected, but I'm going to work through this as quickly as possible to get it posted in time. So let's jump right into the this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the red this morning. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.57 percent, S&P 500 futures down 0.75 percent, and Nasdaq futures down 1.08 percent. Warren Buffett continues to accumulate shares in Occidental Petroleum. His holdings are now at 20.9 percent of the company. Between September 26 to September 28, Berkshire Hathaway has purchased 5.99 million shares of Occidental. Their stake in Occidental Petroleum allows them to include the proportionate share of their earnings with their own operating results under the equity method of accounting. Berkshire also holds $10 billion worth of Occidental's preferred stock and warrants to purchase 83.9 million shares of common stock at about $59 per share. It is noted that back in August, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission approved Berkshire's request to purchase up to a 50% stake in Occidental. The stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 26%. NEO has opened their first battery swap station in Germany as they plan to officially enter the German market next week. The battery swap station was built under a partnership between NEO and charging parks operator Sortimo. The facility is the size of two garages and will be later designed for up to 312 swaps per day. NEO has been ramping up their efforts in Europe and is expected to launch several of their models at the NEO Berlin event on October 7th. Analysts currently rate the NEO stock a unanimous strong buy with an average upside of 76%. Molson Coors Beverage Company has expanded their exclusive agreement with Coca-Cola for their Topo Chico spirited drink. The deal marks another milestone in the relationship between Molson Coors and the Coca-Cola company following the recent launch of their Simply Spiked Lemonade and a successful first year of national distribution of Topo Chico. A VP from Molson Coors said that we believe Topo Chico Spirited will shake up the canned cocktail space with unparalleled flavors and a legacy rooted in the iconic 125-year-old master brand. It will be coming to more than 20 markets across the country in 2023. Analysts currently rate the Molson Coors stock a moderate sell with an average upside of 11%, while the Coca-Cola stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 23%. Tesla's second Artificial Intelligence Day is being hosted tomorrow. Investors will be anticipating several updates, including an update on the performance of their most advanced self-driving software called Full Self Driving, as well as their plans for the robo-taxi industry. Of course, last year they unveiled their humanoid robot named Optimus that they'll be expecting updates on as well. Back in January, Musk said that the most important product development we're doing in 2022 is the Optimus humanoid robot. He thinks it has potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. Analysts currently rate the Tesla stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 8%. And shares of Porsche are up after they IPO'd on the Frankfurt stock market, raising about $9.2 billion. That makes it the biggest European offering in more than a decade. Porsche will have 911 million of preferred and ordinary shares outstanding after their offering, valuing the company at $73 billion. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from big names, including Nike and Micron, but it seems the overall sentiment is not overly optimistic for these reports. In the pre-market this morning, we heard from meme stock Bed Bath & Beyond, who missed earnings per share by a wide margin. For Q2, Bed Bath & Beyond reported a loss per share of $3.22, missing analyst estimates by $1.43. Their revenue of $1.44 billion was down over 27% year-over-year and missed analyst expectations by $10 million. Analysts currently rate their stock a strong sell with an average downside of 35%. We also heard from Rite Aid, who did miss on earnings but beat on revenue. 
Rite Aid reported a loss per share of 63 cents, which was 17 cents wider than analyst estimates. Their revenue of $5.9 billion did decline 3.4% year-over-year, but beat analyst estimates by $40 million. Analysts do currently rate the stock a moderate sell with a slight downside. And also missing analyst expectations was CarMax. Their earnings per share did come in at $0.79, cents, but missed analyst expectations by $0.58. Cents. Revenue of $8.14 billion was up nearly 2% year-over-year, but did miss analyst expectations by $410 million. Their total retail used units sold decreased over 6%. Analysts rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 23%. So definitely not a lot of strong earnings this morning, but let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Alcoa. They seem to be recovering after a bit of a volatile week. Under the ticker AA, the stock is currently up 6.7%. They're followed by ResMed under RMD up 5% and Cytokinetics under CYTK up 4.82%. Our biggest losers are led by CarMax following their earnings report. Trading under the ticker KMX, the stock is down nearly 18%. They're followed by Altus Power under AMPS down over 15% and HES under HES down 7.7%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.